Class, class, class is in session. Class is in session again. The boy class is in the building. Hey, yo, what up, man? Look, man, we was having our difficulties and all this, trying to understand whatever, whatever to be understood. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying? School of hard knocks, rocks like this, hot socks and all that beat up shit, you know? I don't know what that was right there, but we're going to leave that right there, man, because, um, I, man, I don't know if that was going or coming. <laughs> but, my peoples, check it out, man. This illusion thing that we're trying to get through... You know, it's a tough call because, <clears throat> you know, you got people that actually want you to lie to them, no matter what the situation, you know, relationship-wise, you know. Um, that was something I learned way back, some years back, or whatever have you. Um, lying ain't even a move, but at the same time, it's like, it is what it is. You know, people do it for whatever reasons. When people try to force you into certain lies and all that or whatever, again, the illusion. Again, the workforce. Yo, in the workforce, they sit there and they tell you, you'll start orientation and they tell you, hey, you know, everybody is one big happy family and, hey, when you see somebody, don't be afraid to say hi and da da da, da this and that. And the minute you get up in there, everybody is grouchy and this, that, and the third. The illusion. I mean, yo, it's sickening, man. Or, yo, the biggest illusion that I ever, I ever saw in the work field. <laughs> Managers, directors, supervisors, executives. All these people with these titles, you know, salary pay, non-union working employees. Right? So they get a suit. And they walk around on Hasidity like they are the shiznik, nae, whatever you want to call it. You know, try to get my little ATL on right there. But, um, you know, it's weird. Like, these people, they'll come across like they're Hasidity and real, 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 real go-getters. And they're making it happen. And a person like me becomes shop steward. And I start attacking these people and going after them. And let's be real. I never took a payola. I never took nothing under the table. I never looked the other way. I always said, you know what? I'm going to fight the bully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, you're too kind. Yo, you're too kind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. And, you know, I pride myself in that. You know, my integrity is always intact when dealing with things of this nature. Um, compromising and all that. Nah, I ain't with it. But this illusion, people will walk around because they wear a suit and you would think, oh, they this and they that and they this and they that. But in time, you know, I sit there and I realize, wow. You know, after drilling them, after beating them, after destroying them, after, you know, sitting across from them as an equal, as a union shop steward, you know, I, I've come to grow and learn that, yo, know, these people, yo, know, they idiots. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of the coworkers, most of the coworkers are idiots. And and I'm, a, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. Yo. They, they they just don't know loss and with that being said it's like it's this illusion from you know these 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 managers and people supposed to be big wigs that you know they got it all they this they they well established you know they're smart xyz three four five and six and then you sit there and after beating them and never losing really a case on no level, you know, these people submit, you know, before we even get a chance to actually have our day in court. And I start realizing, you know, these people really ain't that smart. Then, you know, I, I, would, I would drill them. Hey, how, how's your credit score? I know somebody like you, you got property, da-da-da, this, that, and the third or whatever. 
Man, listen, man. Most of the mother, other, other mothers in total debt, looking crazy, and only happy to be there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. You're too kind. You're too kind, my people. Have a seat. Have a seat. But um, it, 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 it's ridiculous. When you really think about it, because at the end of the day, you know, people play these facades, they put on these facades, they play these roles, you know, and, and they and they make it, they make themselves out like they're somebody that they're really not. And, you know, that leads back to the streets. You know, the street term of that terminology is, you got to fake it until you make it. Class is in session. You got to fake it till you make it. You got to fake it. Until you make it. So, mother others will walk around looking like a million bucks. Don't get me twisted. I do too. You know what I mean? I fake it. Until I make it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is doing it. Monkey see, monkey do. This is where we are. We in this world of an illusion. But you know, it's funny because the times where I chose not to. And I chose to be the average and blend in. I'm going to be honest. From my perspective of real common sense and reality, <clears throat> people that get content in who they are, where they are, and don't look to advance themselves or don't have nothing to look forward to, future-wise and all this type of stuff or whatever have you, I really have bad news for you. Those are the people that... They are literally waiting for their death. To give up your liveliness. To give up your... your, your the, the, the fun, childish side of you to give up your youthfulism. Yo, I'm making up words if that ain't a word, man. This is hip hop culture. You know what I mean? And let's let's be clear. <laughs> Class is in session. In the hip hop culture, in the very, very, very beginning, it was about rebelling against the system. So it was never about enunciating or pronouncing words exactly the way they're supposed to be. Yeah, you would say mother, and you would drop the ER at an A. Father, you know, same deal type talk. You know, the. Drop the T-H-E and just put D-A, the. You know, like, 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 create your own slang, slang talk. That's hip-hop. Now, all of a sudden, what's going on in this world? 2022, you got people walking around talking about, oh, oh. In, in the hip hop community, to my hey, pronounce hey, you know, you ain't spell that right. Wait a minute, it was never supposed to be spelled right. You know, that, that was that was, that's a commercial break right there. You know? <laughs> Class is in session. Of course, that was a commercial break. Back to our regularly scheduled program in its entirety. So, back to the thought. You know, this illusion in the workforce. You know, people actually think that they have security, job security. The illusion. Well, in the workforce today, you're expendable. I mean, people, there is no real job security. You have a position, a post. You know, you 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 can't come to work. They'll find somebody to fill your position. It, it, it's just the way it is. You know, um, um, they'll make you think that you're protected or rather that, you know, that the company holds your best interests in hand. And they put these bylaws that govern these companies, right? And it'll say something like, oh, well, you must have slip-proof resistant shoes to actually work. And you, you, you need a health card and, and, and all of this type of stuff or whatever to work or whatever, right? You need a TAM card or whatever, right? And, you know, only people that actually are in the workforce right now to this moment can actually attest to this thought. Uh, in those places where they say you need a health card, with dealing with food and all that, please, you get in the you man. If they have hidden cameras, 
if they have hidden cameras, if there were hidden cameras in the, let's say the most luxurious restaurant, let's just call it what it is, the most luxurious restaurant where everybody know the big super name, and everybody want to eat there, but in the back, you got upset working employees for whatever reason washing dishes and cleaning up and all this stuff or whatever you you really going to tell me that these people are actually living up to code the illusion there is no code they're not following it it's an illusion or I got this thing where they be like, yo, the health department is coming in for inspections. Well, unfortunately, for a juggernaut company, I mean, I don't need to name names, but I mean, just think juggernaut companies, huge companies, companies that have billions on top of billions on top of billions mixed in with millions. The huge companies. You're going to sit here and tell me that they lawyers do not pay off the damn, the damn, the damn people to actually uh, give them an, excuse me, an A, an A for inspection or the illusion. How about, how about a person commits suicide on a, on a, on a, uh, on a, on a property of an extremely wealthy company. The person kill themselves on that property. Hey, yo, it will never ever make the news. <laughs> Classes in session, the illusion. Well, how about the propaganda for stuff like the news itself? I mean, let's be real. You 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 gonna tell me? That there ain't no pre-programming going on when you have news outlets that are all connected by one company all throughout the country. But at the same time, they all get these little scripts to know exactly what to say. No matter what city you're in, state, they all ride the same. Yo, it's like the, 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 the radio top 40. Every radio station in the country only plays the list of the top 40, which they are still owned and controlled by pretty much the same company. Illusion. (laughs) Or rappers being told, young rappers trying to come up, being told, hey, just be independent. But then they'll put a, a, a quote-unquote allegedly independent artist out there and say he did it all on his own, but he's in the house of every household throughout the country, whatever have you. And it illusion make you think that he's doing it on his own, but the reality is there's a big engine marketing dollar promoting dollar taking care of this artist class is in session (laughs) ladies and gentlemen I just wanted to drop that little gem you know what I'm saying in terms of this illusion because the illusion is real folks you know, you you yo you you go out to the club, you know you have chicks with they with with they only hottest outfit on, <laughs> they only hottest outfit on, Sully illusion. Oh yeah, the dudes, again pulling up looking like a million bucks, but can't spend a million. Yo, the world society today is based upon nothing but an illusion. Fake hair, fake eyelashes, fake eyes, colors, fake booties, fake breasts, 
It's all fake. Class is in session. <laughs>